Hello there, I'm Stephen Kirkbride from KT Numerology. Now this reading's for ladies born on the 1st of March. Now, it's the 1st of March, yeah? And if it's your birthday, happy birthday, yeah? And many happy returns. Now, firstly, the ladies born on 1st of March, I'm just going to run through a few things while we really get cracked on here. You're great at picking yourself up after a fall. And I mean any fall. It could be catastrophic fall. You are a master. The gentleman, hello Carly. Even the gentleman born on the 1st of March are the same. Anybody born on 1st of March, you can really pick yourself back up, yeah? And I love you for it. You're strong there, yeah? You're very compassionate. You can be anyway. You've got a lot of compassion within yourself. Uh, you make a fantastic parent. Now, this could be a parent to a human, an animal, plants. Because uh, you get plant husbandry and, you know, animal husbandry and all this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you call it that because we've got Mother Earth, you see. So we need a yin yang balance. But, yeah, so parenting could be all sorts of things. We can be parents to dogs, of course. We, we all love us dogs and cats like anything. You know we do, you know. Hello, Alison. Hello there. Uh, I would say good evening, but it's early evening, yeah? So uh, all of us, you know, we're parents to even properties in a way, because we, we look after properties, don't we? We really uh, care for properties. And some people care for the shoes like that, you know, and certain items. We parent over things. It's not just children, it's animals, uh, all leather goods, uh, all stuff like... Your bicycles, your cars, we parent over it. So that energy, you know, I explained, yeah. Uh, you're very good with persuasion as well. Mm, yeah. Uh, and you sometimes blame yourself for a lot. So don't, don't do it. Born up 1st of March. Yeah. Is that number one? Uh, yeah. And you're often the number one again coming in fearless. You know, uh, wow. You know, so anyway, yeah. Uh, So here we are on the 1st of March, would you believe it? And we've just come off the warmest ever February. Wow, hey, hey, isn't that a bonus? Yeah, and I have a story to tell you about being born on the 1st of March. Hey, Marie, hello there, hello there, yeah? Yeah, so firstly we have Neptune ruling over Pisces. We've got Neptune here, yeah? Then we have Jupiter. Ruling over the first, right? Then uh, we also have uh, the sun ruling as well, yeah? So we've got the sun, Jupiter and Neptune in the mix. Yeah, so in essence we have the planet Neptune who rules over hopes and dreams, emotions, ideas and the potential for the human race. Also rules over daring to dream now, dare you dream, yeah, yeah. And cosy dark corners, remember the cosy dark corners, remember it, yeah. So uh, let's break it down a bit, you know. So uh, we've got Neptune, uh, uh, Jupiter and the Sun, right. Uh, Neptune says, hello my Pisces child, I'd love to help you with your dreams and aspirations. Uh, and I have an idea. Choose a dark, cosy corner of your own. If you haven't got one, make one. Invent one. Come on. You need a cosy, dark corner uh, for relaxing and education. It's a double thing here. Relaxation and education. Yeah? Because Jupiter is an adventurer. It rules over opportunities. Right? It also rules over parties and social meetings. It doesn't like structure and routines, but it loves learning at any time, you know, so uh, enriches your soul and uh, can bring you good luck. So this dark corner, Jupiter gets involved with Neptune. Now listen clearly. If you study anything, Jupiter loves uh, people earning money at a later date, right? Yeah. Uh, Jupiter free you to learn. You've got this dark corner. Provided by Neptune. And Jupiter wants you to start earning money at a later date. So, 
your learning corner. Get a little torch or reading light for you, reading physical books, yeah? But your audio books, you don't need a light and uh, your, your tablets and so forth will have the backlight in. But you're reading a physical book, get you some reading light in that cozy dark corner. And come on, make some money in the future. These planets want you to, yeah? Have an idea, come on. You're born up first, full of ideas, eh? Right. Now, uh, we have the sun now, who rules over health, vitality, saunas, health spas, windows, conservatories, patios, glass, you name it. Every time you look out of a window, rule by the sun, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and it's in your numbers. Uh, so, the sun is going to say this. Hello, I'm the sun. I want to shine a light on your health and tempt you to start looking after your health by treating yourself to what I have on offer. Right, you got it? Such as health spas, saunas, sunbathing, getting vitamin D off the sunlight and walking in the sunshine, as simple as that. Remember, you one, add another one, you got your legs, your pins, walk in, yeah? Now Pisces wants to speak now. Your sun sign, although you may refer it as your star sign, it's actually your sun sign. Yeah. So hello there, there is Pisces. And, uh, I can help you help others. Because I rule over nursing, carers, home helps, meals on wheels, uh, caring for anything, house sitting, dog sitting, cat sitting, uh, looking after anybody's pets. I rule over that. Looking after a garden, I rule after that. Looking after anything, it could be even the your next door neighbour's uh, things arriving when they're out, the post arriving, rules are over that. You see, caring, taking people's stuff in. Uh, so, whenever you find yourself doing that, you call on Pisces. Pisces got that energy, the, the carer, right? That Pisces are help you, absolutely help you. Now, uh, well, uh, just have a quick word, uh, you know, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look here, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a playing card, right? There's a playing card which is very, very, very powerful for the 1st of March. And if you put this in your purse or your bag, right, it can and will bring you good luck. If not, leave it somewhere in your own. It's the Nine of Spades. Yep. It is assigned to the 1st of March, that playing card. This is ancient stuff, ancient knowledge, right? This has been going about thousands of years. Mm. Yeah, listen up. Yeah? Now, moving on to the tarot. So, you've got the magician here, on first, number one. Yeah? Magic. Weaving magic. Yeah. Yeah. So, you've got... rule. It rules over goals. All goals set. The magician rules over goals. Because he can magically get to the goal, you see. Rules over also willpower. I know you've got plenty of that. You must have one up first, yeah. Uh, materials of all nature. Uh, so all the earth elements, soil, clay, pebbles, rocks, all them elements, rules over it. Yeah, what's under his feet, you see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as control over other, other the elements of fire, earth, air and water as well, the magician. Because he, everything on the earth moves around it's magic you know can create the wind then the snow then the, everything it's amazing so you've got that magician energy so weave some magic in your own life weave it the magician rules over your birthday weave your own magic now feng shui let's have a look yeah uh, this has been running since 5th of february last month uh, this energy started for 2019 it will run until third week in january next year 2020 now, listen up. Get your phone or an, a compass on your phone, the app, or a compass, and find, right, here we go. And now we're going to talk about your power direction for 2019. Your power direction for 2019 is direct west. West, you right? So find it. Find it in your garden. Find it in your own. Because this... Direction is three times stronger than all other directions this year for you. 
So, uh, find it. Any So, any prayers, affirmations, healing thoughts, any other things you may practice, wishes, you name it. Direct what's for you, you know? Yeah. Even put in on your lottery numbers. Are you listening now? I bet your ears have just pricked up, haven't they? Hey, yeah. So, anything you do, direct West this year. It's assigned West for the 1st of March. Yeah. Home away. Yeah, so that's that, eh? Right then. Now, got some more up. Yeah. Why not 1st of March? You love to choose your own lifestyle. You have good mental strength, yes you do. And you want my positions of power. Yes you do, yeah. Not wrong with that. I do as well actually. Yeah. Uh, and you don't you don't like to see weakness in men. Mm. Right, yeah. Well fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. This lady can be cold as ice or as hot as a live volcano in any single day. Yeah, anybody else watching this? <laughs> uh, you have good concentration skills, and when others let you down, it really pisses you off. I mean, it upsets you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like being let down there, eh? yeah, yeah. So, uh, and you can be very forthright, mm, born up first. And others, right? I'm gonna help you here because I understand uh, your confidence. Anybody born up first, yeah. I totally and utterly understand. I'll tell you for why. I'm born up 30th, right? And we're the orators. Uh, we're the talkers. And uh, people uh, can take us the wrong way, right? Because we're expression. The three's expression, yeah? Uh, so the O circle, it, the noise comes out, the 30th, yeah? So it's all expressive and it explains things. Now, the first is power. Total power, the number one. It can see over every other number in the world. See, it's at the first, and it looks over every number to the billions and zillions, yeah? So it's there, that number one, yeah? Now, what I've wrote there, others can mistake your confidence for arrogance. So your confidence can be mistaken, but I'll tell anybody, anybody watching this video, please take note, yeah? This confidence is beautiful. And all of us who can't speak up, let the person born of us speak up for us. Come on, yin and yang balance. So some of us can't get a word out. A lot of number two birthdays, yeah? Shy. So let the one talk up. Let the three talk up. There's nothing wrong with it. Just the balance of everything. Yeah? Yeah, uh, you know. Uh, there are a lot of ones about in wartime, let me tell you. Born up first, yeah. Yeah. And they pulled us through. The ones, the threes were the reporters as well. And they pulled us through, yeah? So, listen to that one, yeah? You're very good at timing, you can be very witty, you've got a lovely witty sense of humour. Yeah, you can be compassionate, you've got some of that in your tank. Yeah, and you don't tolerate time wasting. Well, fair enough, fair enough, I agree with you, yeah? Absolutely. And you can make, you're very good at making quick decisions, saving me both time and money. That is super duper, yeah? Super power as well, yeah? Yeah? Right then, so... Uh, right, and you can get very absorbed in your passions. You like order in both work and play. You are good with ideas and never seem to run out of them, ever. Uh, and you're very good at self-employment as well. So whether you're working for a company or... Oh, you're a stay-at-home mom, or you just, you know, you're, you're choosing not to work at the moment, because not wrong with that, yeah? Uh, you might have creative ideas, you see, and uh, for later. Uh, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in life, uh, you know, I'm just telling anybody born on the first is brilliant at self-employment, yeah? And walking is good for people born on the first, because we have two ones holding us up, two legs, two fins, yeah? Yeah, so let's walk, talk and burn all them calories, eh? Yeah. And a great skill you have, an innate skill which you were born with, all ears born up first, the ladies and the men now, born with this one. And I love it. I really do. Yeah. 
You have a wonderful way of bringing people down a peg or two without them even noticing. That's magical what you can do. And I love it. Absolutely. Because some people do need bringing down a peg or two. They get off on their high horses. They get overconfident and whatnot, you know. And you can do it magically. You don't have to say a word. You just do it. I don't know how you do it. But you can do it and you're born with that. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, Finish this reading now and uh, thank you Carly and Alison and Marie for watching and I'm going to say uh, uh, it's only early evening but you know goodbye to you and ciao ciao and thank you for watching and it's been great yeah so I'll be back tomorrow 2nd of March and I'll be doing another show of firepower ah David ah you've turned up yeah uh, right so uh I'll be back tomorrow on 2nd of March and doing another show fire powered reading for people born on 2nd of March because they're totally different to people born on the uh, 1st of March. We've got totally and utterly different. One day away and you have got a different person. And this is our numerology, astrology, the feng shui. It can tell, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of things about you and who we are you know so uh that birthday tomorrow totally and utterly different so yeah and know anybody born at second of march or anybody born at second of any month they could tune in and if you just want to tune in anyway get your pen right stuff down for them you know if you know anybody yeah i could slow it down so you can write it down if you want i share this information yeah all what i know i know a lot more this is a snapshot believe me right of what i do know right in an advanced reading that we're only just scratching surface here but i'm getting all this information out to the general public because the more you know the more you are empowered and it's power the more you know yeah anyway so i say ciao ciao and goodbye and good night and uh, cheers for you know watching and i'll see you all tomorrow. So bye-bye and bye-bye to you all.